Ta-da! Here it is. One of the main highlights of this year's Geneva Motor Show is the all-new Volvo XC60, the compact SUV. See it here in the front also with the Thor's Hammer LED lights. Those ones are connected with higher trims or also optionally available. The lengths, 4 meters 65 or 15 foot 3. And see here with the design line in the lower part, so strong curves there. And the shoulder area is a little bit more characteristic than with the XC90. It sits actually on the same platform, SPA platform, that is used for the new Volvos, for the big Volvos. So they share a lot with the XC90, but you can see it is actually different because I think that the new Volvo design does fit the smaller SUV even better. Because it looks more agile, especially in this rear shoulder part. And also I think those taillights in this function here, they fit better to alongside with an SUV than with a sedan. That You have the horizontal line there, and then it goes up in the vertical one. I think it's really better with the um, with the SUV style. Also, um, Thomas blue color, <laughs> I would call it, so spectacular blue color with a chrome contrast there in the side mirrors. So I think very, very beautiful SUV. The XC60 was beautiful before, but had more round shapes. And here you can see a lot of different elements where they made it a little bit more angular to spice the design up a little bit. And I think it did work. Or what do you think? 22 inch for those rims that is huge um, it might be better for the riding comfort to go a little bit smaller um, but i mean the wheel arches are quite big so they can can actually fill that up and here we get a closer look at the lower part of the grille pretty strong in this r design line and now a color change here in this metallic white and also with the R design package and works pretty well also in this color, although I would prefer the blue one. What do you think? Um, by the way, this guy equipped with 21 inch rims. Not that huge, but still looks huge. Here in the front left, you can plug it in if you have the T8 engine. So the plug-in hybrid version also available here for the XC60. Then let's get inside. You can see this is the R design also in the interior and that means on the inside of the seats we have microfiber on the outside leather. Unfortunately they do not use leatherette yet on the outside here at Volvo. But the XC60 can at least in the most markets could also be in the previous generation um, be bought with fabric and um, also with full leatherette seats. We have to um, check the later configurators and price lists then. The interior is basically oriented also of the one of the XC90. This one is a little bit different here. We have a, a wider accentuation line. It can be picked in different materials, also with wood, for example. Overall cleaned up, of course, those black parts here, they collect a lot of fingerprints. That's, you know, the, um, the basic disadvantage. Other than that, the big touchscreen. In the middle part, you can also slide, uh, slide those beverage holders close it. Here is all the build quality with the middle armrest. The steering wheel here in the R design has perforated sides right here and also an R design logo. And it's um, not that small and uh, it's not very as uh, not very symmetric. It's a little bit of asymmetry and also those um, shifting pedals right there. Here option you can also equip the car with the Bowers and Wilkins system, sound system and we'll have also again this um, this opera uh, hall or orchestra hall sound um, atmosphere so that is one of the best sound systems you can get mm, we have to test them later on how it will sound in the xc60 we will have the same good sound as in the xc90 it can always be a little bit different the rear mirror by the way is frameless again that's a very elegant solution so it's, it's really a small xc90 headroom rise there's still some left and one means 86 or six foot one and there's already a panoramic roof built in here. If you leave that one out, maybe you can even get a little bit more headroom then. But overall, a comfortable seating position. The full digital instruments. Um, you have basically the setup with the RPM and the speed. Car is not fully in operation at the moment, but you will be able to switch it a little bit around. Um, it will be also the same in the XC90. When you open the door, this is very interesting. You see, this area will be kept tidy, and this is often a problem because you maybe um, maybe uh, uh, 
make your trousers dirty here. So because you see the lip here, the, the door goes all the way until the bottom and then is shutting the dirt off here. It's a pretty interesting solution. Of course, you have to be sure that you, when you're parking near a pavement, you don't damage the in the, the, the lower part of the door. It must really a big advantage yet that you always stay tidy then, the car, and maybe also your shoes and your trousers when getting in and out. The rear, and this will be very interesting, how much is the difference? So I left the seat as I would be driving, and um, I mean, it's not a short compact SUV, but also the extraordinarily long one, and see here, this is the room I got in front of my knees, I think it's, um, it's totally okay. Headroom-wise, a good result, although we have the panoramic roof inbuilt, and you do have a very upright seating position um, here already for the rear seats. What the hell? You could pay attention next time. Thank you. <laughs> so, and there can also be a tax, even if you're doing motor show coverage. And that was actually one thing. Um, I'm lucky that I had my head right here because um, I told that initially uh, it was the same problem in the other 90 versions with this um, electric folding down here from the from the head restraints. Um, this really hits your head, and there's obviously no blocking mechanism that is blocked when someone is sitting on the seats. So what about the electric hatch? Here we go, also the T8 batch with the R design. And here we go now, and there's a wide opening really. Also with a small cover here that folds out. And the thing I was just attacked with, um, you see I've put one seat up here, and uh, it's not on the left side, but on the right side, right here for R and left. And let's see, I check if someone is in there, no it's not. Then you can press it and then it's falling down. It's a handy solution if no one is <laughs> really sitting there. You have to pay attention to that. Here with the T8, there's not so much space left here. Um, this is fixed, so that's pretty much it. But very well usable. And I mean, the XC90 is available as a, uh, as, as a seven-seater. That is, you know, the probable advantage for you. But if you don't really need that, I think you'll be just fine with the XC60, and uh, I mean it's not a cheap car, not at all, and uh, but it will be cheaper than the XC90 for sure. And then let's watch with the safety, safety share. Yeah. I think again a little bit too much talk. Um, a lot of manufacturers uh, put too much talk on the rear electric hatch. I think that should be better even out. Um, for example, Mercedes had it quite well. That is always shutting, closing it, and still opening or holding still when you have some resistance. You have to play around with those torque figures. So you know Volvo is all about four cylinders, diesel and petrol engines. And this one here, the T8, where you combine the petrol engine, the four cylinder, two liter with the electric parts. And you see oh, everything is orange are always the electric parts. Of course, a lot of color choices available, but here already one look how it looks like in a dark gray tone. So here another car, by the way, another interior with this matte wood star, which feels really great and looks really great, Scandinavian design. And then there's also the infotainment system on, so you can go to your favorites here, for example. Uh, go back in this menu. Um, phone pairing, we have looted. Wow, the screen gets extremely hot, hot. That's so strange. So, and here you can, for example, also activate the cameras. Um, the doors are opened at the moment inside, uh, therefore we don't have a real view there, but haha, <laughs> hello guy, you're on auto fuel, you don't know, but you're on. <laughs> Busted. <laughs> Interesting, and in the front that's also possible, here guys at the Geneva Motor Show, always taking photos right here. Good resolution and the screen here is um, really good in the size, you can uh, very well control all the stuff. Um, but it's also a little bit much. You have to get used to it to find all the function, but that's the same in the XC90. And a general overview of this bright interior. I like the bright style that suits the Volvo also very well. But of course, um, here again, the optional animal skin equipment, which is not really um, looking into the future, but rather into the past.